Okay, so we've uh, just rocked up at Sheffield Arena for round seven of the Arena Cross series. Um, myself, Samson, and Aaron, we're lucky enough to be part of the freestyle freestyle get up here. There's eight riders, some some real good riders actually. You've got Peter Pilot, Jamie Squibb, Ed Guitar and Terrace. Um, Obviously, as I said, Samson, Aaron, and myself. We've got Nez Parker. Nez is a new, new to freestyle. He comes from a racing background, so it's cool to have him on board. But we just need to go and get accredited so they let us in, which will be fun. Yeah, today's been a bit of a mixed bag, to be fair, because usually we're pretty on schedule and we know. Um, exactly when we're going to ride, usually it's about one o'clock, but the track's not really playing ball so far, we're kind of struggling with, with a lot of track prep, so that's kind of delayed our freestyle practice, so we're now like nearly 40 minutes behind schedule, but we're chucking the gear on, about to go out and uh, see what's what, do some whips and skids. So we're now heading out for practice uh, here in Sheffield. Um, we practice every time simply because you know riders may have not ridden throughout the week. Like Edgar hasn't hasn't ridden for a week, so we'll go out. We'll fill the setup up, check that everything's good, check that we're happy, ready for the night show. So we're now heading up to see how the ramps are looking before we jump on the bikes. And this is my machine. It's a Honda CRF 450. Um, we're looking forward to getting the, the 17 models, this one's a 16 um, and yeah essentially it's a production race bike and then we make the modifications, we cut the grab holes, shave the seat down, we're on high rise bars, we make a significant change to suspension, we like real stiffen things up and slow, slow the suspension down uh, for the, the impact and through the transition of the, the actual jump and yeah and then various other things like the flip levers, Things that make our life a little bit easier while you're kind of 35, 40 feet up in the air. Yeah, this is my machine. Served me well, this one has, but still very excited to get the new ones. Landed his first one to dirt last week. Very, very proud moment for myself and the team. So now for me, I'll get into my tricks, get the levers up, start busting some tricks out. Just straight into a KOD for my first one. A little bit of a flip, run around it now. Wind the power and get up nice and high and hold it for as long as we can. A one hand grab. Into rock solid there, completely letting go of the bike. Oh, uh, Ron P. He's on scared. Yeah, my cousin a little bit. Throw the bike away. Big double indie off to the side. I kind of feel good enough. That's kind of enough for me. You know, just to get on the bike during the day. Have a little bit of a ride. Warm the body up. Get climatized. Get comfortable. See what's going on with the light in here. Makes me feel pretty good. It's so cool when you get backstage and you get to know like some of the, I don't know, the mentalities, the uh, opinions, the personalities of these riders. It's very, very interesting. And then when they come out here, they're like so professional, just throwing it down, getting the job done. What I mean is, you know, not in day-to-day -day life, they're not professional, but you know, just, you just, these are just normal dudes and then they come out here and just do exceptional things like this. It's interesting stuff. Right, um, basically, 
We're going for food and I'm going to Nando's and these boys are going to why Five you, Guys. Why are you going to Nando's? And I'm going to Nando's because it's healthier and why are you going to Five Guys? Because it's unhealthy. In a nutshell that is literally what's happening right now. Burgers, overall, everything. Burgers are life. Their bodies are temples and mine is just merely... Real athletes. Yeah, they're the real athletes. This life on the road is pretty difficult because obviously you can't cook for yourself. So you have to make the most of what you've got. And Nando's is pretty good. So I'm gonna get something simple like some chicken. Butterfly chicken always goes down well. And probably some rice. And then I'll get a takeout as well for this evening because the night show starts at, we, well we actually start at five for the track walk. And then the show starts at seven so you don't get time to eat. So the takeout it is. And that's what's going down. Oh, and it's really cold. This is the only place where the team divide, where we separate, is when it comes to food. Share a bed together, live together, drink together. We just don't eat together. We are doing the VIP track walk. So people that pay a little bit extra get to come down feel what it's like on the track, get to meet the riders, get to meet us, the freestyle riders, and yeah, just get a kind of a bit of a closer look at what, what goes on on the floor here. Kind of a nice taste for people because you don't get to feel what the dirt's like usually if you're up in the stands and how hard it is and, and how steep some of these jumps are. So it's real cool that people get the opportunity to come down here and have a little bit of an extra experience. So that's what we're doing. We're primed, we're coil springs, and uh, we're ready to do a couple of jumps for these cool people that have bothered to turn out and come and check Arena Cross out. Happy days. That's Neil. Yeah, Neil. Neil's the man, by the way. We love Neil. Neil's the man that at last year's Arena Cross, we had a streaker. And I was standing right next to Neil, and the streaker went out, and Neil was just like, our man, he was like a gazelle. He just leapt into action and took the streaker down. It was full on, full on awesomeness, to be fair, wasn't it? Yeah. What's that thing, the app thing that he was? Thug Life, fully Thug Lifed it. And incidentally, we sent it to Thug Life, you know, like their channel and stuff. And they said that Neil wasn't actually Thug Life. Well, if you look at in protocol of what a, um, I don't know, anyone employed by, by a crew, you know, on the ground, they shouldn't be rugby tackling a member of the public. However, Neil, Neil didn't care. Neil went full Thug Life and took the dude down. It was awesome and hard. That is why Neil is the epitome of thug life. We've just done the track walk, which is my favourite part of the night because you get to meet people and there are a lot of interesting people out there and they kind of, um, they typically have the same mindset as me because they're into bikes so it's great to talk to like-minded people, chat with the kids, you know, and try and give a little bit back, you know, like um, I may not be the best rider out there but I kind of, um, I just try and give a little bit back so for me that's the highlight of the night and um, it's all good, that's where we're at.
onto the nitro. I've uh, worn a couple of times, they just they loosen up so much. Are you filming that? Yeah. Can I shoot? Can you tell me that? Morning, Sunday. I fell in love with that. It's just... Oh. <laughs> the show we've done the intro we've had two pro heat races we're now got the pro light race and then we're about to go into the freestyle whip contest so essentially the show's broken down into three segments the first segment is going to be the whip so essentially we're going to get out there throw the bikes as sideways as we possibly can and this awesome crowd is going to judge who's the most insane whipper and that's where we're at Okay guys, so as you can see, we've now hit the interval. It's still pretty full out there, so people are eagerly anticipating the second half of the show. We've done the whips, that went down well. Didn't make the final myself, but we saw Samson in the final. Uh, ending in Edgar, I believe, taking the win there, throwing down a huge whip. Next up, we've got best trick. This is where I get my chance to shine and try and make the crowd laugh. I like to, to interact with the crowd and get them laughing. So I've got a couple of tricks in my repertoire that hopefully will get a giggle out of the crowd. We're also going to see some sick backflip variations from the other guys. Our very homegrown Aaron Powell, he's going to get upside down as well, so make sure you stick around to check it out. It's a sellout crowd here in Sheffield, so the atmosphere is absolutely electric and that bodes well for us. That just elevates us, takes us to another level and means that we perform at our very optimum. <laughs> It's a wrap here for Sheffield, the Bulldog team here at the Arena Cross event. It's a bit of a come down now, to be honest with you. Like we've had the high of riding in front of 8,000 people, sellout crowd here. We've come back to our dressing room, chilled out for a minute, got changed, calmed down, and we're now about to go and hit a about an hour pack up with the ramp. So it's all good fun. Everyone's starting to leave. Samson's back, come to probably call me to go and get on with packing up and. That's what you call a day in the life of the Bulldog FMX team. Hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, so we're now about to go and shred a pack up. About an hour's packing up. Um, boys are ready for it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the bit you don't want to see. 
remember this is vlog number one for us, so we're all new to this. We're trying to give you something a little bit different here, a little bit of a behind the scenes sort of deal of what we go through, what it's like to be a freestyle rider. So, hope you enjoyed. Click like. Remember to click like and subscribe, and uh, we'll do more. All right. All right. Oh, yeah.